planks. Planks are all the rage. Everyone's planking. All I see is plank. Or no, that was like two or three years ago. Plank, plank, plank. I'm going to plank here. I'm going to plank on top of the Statue of Liberty. I'm going to plank on the... Planks, one, are super dangerous and advanced position. If you're a gymnast, great, do them. But most people are not gymnasts. And that's the problem with a lot of stuff on that you see on the net is that you see these highly complicated positions that very highly trained athletes or trainers are doing and ordinary people think I can do that and then they do it incorrectly and injure themselves. So what about doing a compatible position that's safer, basic, and that doesn't leave much room for error? How about that? So let's do, I call it the mini plank. I got this from a classmate of mine when I was in anatomy training, training and I love it and I do this a lot myself as well. Okay, so we're going to come into a cat position. I'm showing you from this angle, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, separating my fingertips as much as I can to distribute weight. Okay, and then what, look at my toes. I'm going to curl my toes under. All right, then I'm going to show you my lower back because we want to make sure that my lower back is in a neutral position. Again, I'm not going to much into flexion or extension. I'm coming into a neutral position. Then. I push down with my hands into the floor. Why am I doing that? Because that's going to activate this whole abdominal region right here. I'm pushing down with my hands into the floor, and then I exert pressure with my hands down towards my knees. So I'm pushing down and then down towards my knees like that. That will turn on my abdominal region. Then I'm going to lift my knees up just about, what is that, a centimeter, two centimeters, okay, about an inch maybe, okay? And then I'm going to exert pressure with my hands downward. And you see the shaking begins, okay? The reckoning! And I'm just gonna exert pressure with my hands down, keep pushing them down. And I'm turning on my abs and my shoulders, basically my whole torso, my upper body, okay? Stay for as many breaths as you can, and then come down, relax. What is this doing? This is a safe way to do a plank, because with the plank, you have that long leverage. And then, there's a lot of room for error in the lower back. With this one, very short leverage, but I'm activating the core, okay? So again, just to refresh, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, curl the toes under, exert pressure with your hands down into the floor, and then down towards the knees, and then you're just gonna lift the knees up just a wee bit, okay? Stay there for as many breaths as you can that your nervous system is ready for, okay?